a great question pop up in the community regarding the visited state on objects and buttons in Articulate Storyline. And here's an example. On this slide, I've got a couple of objects. I've got this starburst and I've got this button. And each of these has some triggers applied to it. And I also have some states, as you can see down here. These are built-in states that come with the button when you, you know, use the insert button tool. And then this red shape here has also got some states. I copied these from a different button and applied a trigger to the object. But a Storyline user asked a good question. He was like, why is the visited state on these objects the same as the normal state? So we look down here in the states panel, see how visited looks the same as normal on the red object, and then also on the button, visited looks the same as normal. And the answer is it doesn't have to be that way. The visited state does default to looking just like the normal state, but you can alter it to look however you want. You have complete control over that. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of ways that we maybe would want to change it. I'm going to select this red starburst shape here first. And let's just say for the visited state on this item, we want this to be a different color. So we're going to click Edit States. And then we can select the visited state. And now we can change this to look however we want. So let's say on the Format tab, we'll want to maybe choose a blue color. And maybe we want to apply, um, I don't know, a a shadow, a bigger shadow to it like that so that it kind of looks like it's popping up off of the caption. That looks about right, I guess. Now you could make other changes here as well. You could change the color of the text. You could change what the text actually says. Um, you could give it a different outline. Anything that you can do to the shape in you know, its normal editing view, you can do within the state as well. Now let's go ahead and change this other button, this one down here at the bottom. I'm going to go over, over here to the right hand side and use this little drop down. This is kind of a quick way to switch to a different object when you're editing states. And you can see how that outline is appearing on different objects on my slide as I scroll over the list. That's just a, a really handy way of knowing that you're selecting the right thing. So there's my review button. I'm going to go ahead and select it and then jump to my visited state. And now for this one, how about if we add a check mark to it? So on the insert tab, I'm going to go to my shapes tool and select this little check mark shape. We'll go ahead and draw it on our slide. And I'm going to give it a different color, make it green. And I'll get rid of the outline. And now let's just move it right into place. So it's kind of like overlapping a little bit with my button. So not only can you change the appearance of an object in its different states, you can also add items to it like we just did with that little check mark. So let's call this done. We'll say that we're done editing our states and now we can preview our scene and see how this would behave. So our starburst should come onto the screen here and this is um, going to actually open up a layer of our slide. So when we click on it, a layer will appear. And now when we close the layer, we should see that starburst in its visited state. And there it is. It's got the different color. It's no longer red, it's blue. It's got a little shadow to it. And down here, we can do the same with this button. So when we click on this one, this is going to light box a slide. That just happens to be the trigger that I gave it. So we'll click on it. The light box appears. And now when we close the light box, that button should have the little green check mark on it. And it does. So that's how you can customize the visited state on your objects and buttons in Articulate Storyline.